Hey friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Olivia and I'm a Chicago native. I lived in New York City with my boyfriend Chico for three years until last July when we decided to sell all of our things and start traveling full time. We started in Guatemala and are now in Mexico where we are fully immersing ourselves in the culture here in Oaxaca City for the next three months. I love staying in a place long enough to really get to know it. I love sharing my passion for exploring new places, coffee and plant-based food, mindful living style, and more. This channel is not your typical travel channel, but my diary sharing bits of my life with you. I would love for you to join me and follow along on my next journey, so make sure to subscribe to my channel. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Olivia and I'm currently living in Oaxaca City with my boyfriend Chico. This vlog is our little two and a half day trip to San Jose del Pacifico. San Jose del Pacifico is two and a half, three hours Oaxaca City and it's a little magic mountain town in between both Oaxaca City and Puerto Escondido. So it's a perfect little stop in and a way to break up the long 10 hour trip to uh, Puerto Escondido. There are two services that take you to San Jose del Pacifico. One is Líneas Unidas and the other one is Eclipse 70. We did Eclipse 70 I believe and it was about 150 pesos to get there and it was kind of like a collectivo type of thing. We were in a van and yeah it wasn't bad at all. It was really really easy and you just show up and i believe it's every hour that they leave um to go there it goes to mia watlan and um so it's not going to be san jose technically it's going to that but they actually do drop you off at san jose del pacifico so it was about 150 pesos the ride was not bad at all i slept the majority of the way once you get there you'll arrive into like the little center of san jose and there's a bunch of tuk-tuks there and they'll take you to wherever you're staying we stayed at Rancho Viejo and I've been following them on Instagram for a while now since I've heard about uh, San Jose and I really wanted to stay there because I just really like their vibe and we had an amazing time it was a beautiful little cabin they light the fire for you every night they also provide coffee if you want but also they have this little like stand where you can go up to in the mornings and they have coffee and little snacks and stuff I do wish that they had like a a breakfast so you didn't have to leave honestly not that bad at all it would have been really cool just to kind of stay on the property the entire day and just take in the nature but it's really a beautiful little mountain town there's only a few restaurants and a few little shops and stuff it's not overly crowded or anything it kind of feels like a nice little pit stop a lot of people stop there before going back to Oaxaca City or going to Puerto Escondido so it's a nice traveler stop I guess there's a few really great restaurants there's an Asian restaurant there's a pizza restaurant um, I believe there's a Thai restaurant. We went to a really delicious restaurant that has made like a lot of vegan options as well and vegetarian options. Honestly, the best thing that you can do there is just kind of take in the nature and just be there. <laughs> um, there's not a whole lot to do, but I would recommend hiking up to the Mirador. We didn't even know that we were hiking up there and then we were already halfway there and we were just like, why not? So we went all the way up there and it was stunning. Uh, beautiful. It's a great spot to watch the sunset, I believe. And it's not that bad of a hike at all. So we did a Temescal experience and this was both of our first time doing a Temescal. Even being in Guatemala, for some reason I've been <laughs> kind of scared of doing a Temescal because yeah, it just is a little intense and it's about an hour and a half and you're in a dark sauna. It's an intense experience for me, but I definitely recommend anyone do it because I just feel like it helped me face so many of my fears. I went to this place and I put the name in the vlog and 
the shaman Goyo. Um, he was so helpful and he kind of talked me through it when I was kind of freaking out. And yeah, so it's pretty much like every 20 minutes on and then you get a little break and then 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 minutes. And he provides you tea and water throughout the whole entire experience. And each little session is kind of a way of letting go of certain things. I was crying through it and yeah, it was just very amazing and I know that I needed to do that. So I would definitely recommend anyone who's going to San Jose to do a Temescal. It's the perfect setting for it, the perfect environment. And uh, yeah, it was just beautiful. And they also sell mushrooms there too. So if you didn't know, San Jose del Pacifico is one of the only places or the only place in Mexico that magic mushrooms are legal. You can consume them. They are in season from July to October, which is why we actually decided to go. We didn't, everything's kind of lining up perfectly with our experience here in Oaxaca. We didn't really know that it's mushroom season and it turns out we're here. So we were like, it's a perfect time to go. I didn't consume magic mushrooms myself, but we did get some. I've done them before, but this time I just, the Temescal was a lot for me to begin with so you know maybe i'll do them again or at some point they cook with so many mushrooms there so i feel like i got a good experience like tasting the fresh local mushrooms without going on a full trip i guess but yeah it was a beautiful experience and a beautiful place the food was really really great it's simple like we really just relaxed and we really just took in it all the weather was like the first day was stunning and then the next couple days were a little bit rainy and cloudy so we kind of just relaxed and stuff and took it easy but that's really what you go there for to kind of disconnect and unwind really just a place for you to enjoy and kind of immerse yourself in the nature there and just be there so there's also a like forest and stuff that you can go and hike into there's really not a lot of things to do but definitely just be there i guess it's just a really beautiful place i cannot wait to go back someday it's, like i said the perfect stop in between the long bus ride to puerto escondido and then in the next vlog i'll just kind of talk about how we got from san jose to Puerto Escondido, so make sure you subscribe and keep an eye out for the next video in Puerto Escondido. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is Olivia and Elise. Or you could just. We are waiting at the bus station. Yeah, we're waiting at the bus station. 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 just arrived to our cabin here at Rancho Viejo. I found this place on Instagram and I've been following them for a while. I really want to check it out and it's so far so beautiful. So I'll show you guys our room. So this is our cabin and they have multiple cabins here and also the front entrance was super nice and they have a little tienda and let's go in. So this is cabana nine and we have a big bed couch a fireplace that they can light up for you give us coffee and sugar they also give us a lighter book some fresh flowers wow and look at this we have our own patio to ourselves Oh, and a full closet. Wow. Hi, doggy. Hello. Hi. 
Is it hot in that sun? We just hiked and now we're trying to find a place to have a nice hot chocolate. Yeah. This place is so stunning. So we did a hike without even knowing we were gonna do the meter doll. And now we have the fire lit. It's eight o'clock, the sun's going down. Now I'm feeling so good. And this place is so beautiful. I'm gonna call it a night. So I will see you guys in the morning. We're here like two hours early 
well, an hour and a half. And it's this really cool place. There's so many little cabanas here. Cabanas and stuff. Yeah, and then they have this bridge up here. Rusty red on her shoulder, I was cleaning her shoe When it clicked on the trot over in the bright morning dew We brushed and we braided dandelions and chewed Was a mutual arrangement we both saw in two Can she walk in the fire? Can she run in the rain? Can she make it up the mountainside? Can she make it down again? I 